Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about groups. I'm going to talk about VCAs, subgroups, mute groups, and how these things work together and how you might use them in your mix and to set up a nice session on your mixer. Um, I'm going to be using the Soundcraft UI24R. It's an awesome rack mount mixer, and it's the one I recommend uh, if you are looking for something in that format. Um, it just has a lot of options. It's very flexible. It's an awesome mixer. And I'm going to show you how to use it with a DAW like Logic. And I'm going to be using the virtual sound check mode. So I'm going to start actually with showing you how that works. But, but if you want to go to specifically any uh, subject that I'm talking about today, you can check out uh, the description for more information. So the first thing I'm going to quickly talk about is the routing. And if you've not seen my video on routing the UI24R from a DAW to and from, uh, you can check that video out first. But very quickly, I just have a session in Logic. This is a recording, uh, not one that I made of a band, but I'll um, but actually, I got this from an awesome resource from Telefunken Labs, who makes uh, microphones, if you're not familiar with them. And they have a series called Live from the Lab, where they have bands come in and record, and they offer these multi-track recordings for free. So they're a great practice resource for either mixing in a DAW or um, for a live mixer situation like this. Uh, so it provides you with all these different tracks. This is a song called Rabbit Hole from the band Goodnight Blue Moon. And that's what I'm going to be mixing today uh, just because it was available. And you'll hear I got rid of some of these tracks. Um, there's, I only use the active DI, not the mic'd acoustic because in a live situation normally that's what you're dealing with and I also only used one kick drum not to kick in and out just for simplicity's sake um, obviously you might mic it with both mics in a, in a real situation or you might not um, so once you've imported your files or maybe you just recorded your band uh, into your DAW from a live recording which this is a live recording it was in a studio but it was t done in one take um, it's not multi-tracked so it's multiple tracks, but it was not overdubbed, I should say. So what you need to do is give every input or every channel an output in your DAW. I'm using Logic, but the principle is the same in anything. So the UI24R is my interface. I've set the buffer to the highest setting because I'm not doing anything in real time. I'm just using this for playback. So it prevents any errors from happening. So there's no harm in setting the buffer as high as you can. Um, and then each channel just gets an ascending output. So starting at one, and in this case up to 16. So there will be 16 channels on my mixer. You may notice there's a stereo out here, three and four. That's for my drum overheads. They're on one track, um, a stereo track. You may record them on separate tracks, but that's how this file was, so I just used two outputs. So on the Soundcraft side, let's take a look at what that looks like. So first off, I have this track of voiceover. That's just for me to record my speaking microphone. And then I have 16 tracks here, um, starting with the acoustic guitar and going down the line here uh, to the guitar vocal. Okay, so I just organized it in the same manner in which um, the recording was, but you could put this in any order you want. Take a quick look at the routing here uh, because I did use sound check mode. So some people are curious about what sound check mode means on the UI24R. If you notice, there's a little SC in green here. It might be hard to read. Um, if you don't have great eyes or if you're working on a little screen. Um, but that SC in that green box means sound check mode is on. And if I click this box in my patching menu, it goes away and my normal patching is activated. So right now I'm patched one to one. So input one on my UI is channel one, which is the acoustic guitar right now. So if you're in a live setting, you might have this layout here like this, all plugged in. And then say you recorded your band on your DAW and you want to take this to the next venue, you can click the activate sound check button and now it's going to go to the sound check routing. So this is my normal channel routing. If I click on sound check, this is my sound check routing. And if I go to the hardware ends, 
You can see that no hardware ends are routed except for my voiceover microphone. And actually that doesn't really need to even be there. That's just so I can see it because I'm recording this directly off of input 20. So to set up my sound check mode, I am coming from my digital audio workstation, which in this case, again, is Logic. And I have 16 channels coming from my DAW. So these are my DAW outputs into my 16 channels on my UI24R. So this is channel one through 16, and I've renamed them appropriately. So they're pretty much one to one here, uh, one through 16. And I'm only using those 16 channels, so that's all I have assigned is those 16 channels and my one microphone. So now that I have my virtual sound check set up, um, you could go and use this as a mixing tool. So I'm going to go ahead and listen, and everything should play back through the UI24R now. Okay, so it's working and I can hear all of everything and I can go ahead and go through and I could work on a rough mix or a nice mix in, in my new room. So all that virtual sound check mode does is routes a second set of inputs to your channels on your mixer. So the most common scenario is going to be running from your DAW back into your mixer to play a recorded version of your band or your group uh, for a virtual sound check, but you could really route any second set of inputs uh, to your channels.